guys. So, I have one more exam to take. I'm going to take that this morning, and I have to go to work today, so I thought today would be the perfect time to do, like, an everyday makeup tutorial. Um, I've been doing this makeup routine for about a week now, um, mostly because some of the products I got are a week old. <laughs> um, so, obviously, it's not going to be really, like, you're not going to be able to see everything that I'm doing clearly and up close because I'm recording on my computer, um, but hopefully my SD card is going to get in soon. I ordered it from Amazon. I'm not really sure when it's going to get in. Um, so, yeah. Let's okay, just get um, I start off first. Okay, I'm going to start off with my Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Hydrating uh, Primer. This is only a sample and it's lasted me a really long time because I only use primer if I'm going to be gone for like a long time. And I really don't even have that long of a shift today. You can see my dog in the background. <laughs> I really don't have that long of a shift today. Um, but I have to like leave early and go to the bank and then go take my exam. And I touch my face a lot when I take exams when I'm thinking. So um, I'm going to try not to do that. But this will hopefully just help me s everything stay in place. And I really concentrate it around my eyes and stuff because I really want my concealer to stay more than anything else because I have pretty clear skin so I don't care so much about the foundation. Okay. Uh, next up is my Studio Gear Flawless Finish Foundation. I'm in the color, it's not on here, but it's the color Bisque. I just know because I remember. Um, I'm just going to put two pumps of that on the back of my hand and I'm using my Real Techniques Expert, found, uh, Expert Face Brush, I think it's called. Yeah. And I just kind of, I concentrate it in the center of my face first in my eyes because that's where I want my mo the most coverage. Let me just look at my mirror right here. Um, so yeah, I just try and get as much coverage on my face and my or uh, um, on my face, on my nose and my eyes as possible. So that's my foundation done. Now I'm going to move on to Benefit Stay Don't Stray. Um, this is technically a primer for concealers and for um, eyeshadows, but I use it as a primer and as my concealer because it's a real peachy color you can see that and it just so happens that it matches my skin tone pretty well um, but I am in the market for a new concealer because I don't really want to use this it's not really the best formulation for a concealer because um, that's not what it was made for so I just place it on there with a brush to get a more precise um, placement and then I just pat it in because if you use the brush, especially because this brush isn't clean, um, if you use the brush, you kind of just like brush it away. You don't really, you want to blend it into the skin. And then um, I have a little bit of redness around my nose, so then I just use the Stay Don't Tray around the nose because um, it covers it. <laughs> so might as well get two for one out of it. I have a little pimple right here, and I have some on my Okay, face. after all of that, I go in with my Benefit Boing. I'm in shade 01. And I actually learned this from Goss Makeup Artist. Don't put this all the way under your eyes. Just put it, if you can see kind of where, you can see the outline of where the circles start, where my cheeks end and my circles start. Just put it right there, because this is a lighter color. You don't have to use Boing. Use any kind of lighter concealer and it'll hopefully conceal. Okay, after that I will set it with powder. Um, depending on the day and how I feel, sometimes I use um, ELF's HD powder, but if I, th if I feel like there's going to be like a lot of photography or flash photography going on, I won't use it, even though I'm so pale that they'll take the picture and they'll be like, oh, that's just what she looks like. Otherwise, I use Fit Me um, Foundation in 125, the powder foundation. Um, this will give a slightly more coverage also. So, um, I'm just going to use, I'm going to use it, like, push it into my skin, and then swirl it down the bottom. Next, I, um, sometimes I contour my face, and sometimes I don't. Uh, most of the time, I usually just do, like, an overall color, so I use, uh, Benefit's Hula. It may seem like I really like Benefit, and they're okay, I just happen to use, uh, their, my everyday products happen to be Hula. Um, Hula, Benefit. So I just swirl it in there and tap it off and just kind of buff it on uh, with a large brush. You do it anywhere where you would contour, but just don't worry about getting it super contoured. 
in any way that you would contour is um really anywhere that with the sun. So this is a uh, real, real glittery. So what I do is I just buff it in there and I tap it off as hard as I can. You can like see the glitter flying off. So then. A lot of people tell you to smile and find the apples of your cheek, but I smile and I find the apples and I go sl slightly above that because if you smile, find the apples and you stop smiling, your blush is going to be all the way down here and then you're just going to look dumb. So. Alright, for the eyes. This is a new product that I have um, that I've been using. It's a L'Oreal Infallible like pressed powder stuff. I love this stuff. This is my first one. It's in Amber Rush, and I heard a lot of YouTubers talking about it. Um, I think Fleur de Force was the first person I heard. But you just take this little thing off. Oops. Take this little thing off. Don't throw this away. Keep this in there because this keeps the powder pressed down. And then it looks like that. It is so, like, soft and buttery and ridiculous. And I've noticed that it doesn't work with a brush when I use it. So I just put it on my finger and run it all over my eyes. I... Stop a little bit above the crease though. I have hooded eyelids, so I, um, you'll see in a second. I just kind of put it all over my eyes, and then right where I can feel the bone, I run right across the bone, so you can still see it a little bit, um, when I open my eyes. Um, I like this color, but it's a little orangey for me. I couldn't wear it alone. Oh, I guess I could. I could do whatever I want, but I don't think it would look right um, if I wore it on my own on me personally just because I have pale a pale face and I, I don't like how orangey it is so what I, oops. so what I do is I take one of my favorite colors ever from Urban Decay which I used to wear on my own but it was too dark for me to wear on my own um, just the way I was doing it and I couldn't really find other colors that worked well with it until now so from the original Naked palette I take the color Toasted and I just love this color um, and I'm just going to add it onto the outer part right here and just blend it that way um, towards the inner corner. But I'm not going to worry about getting it really like precise or get like a really precise V. I'm not really going for a super smoky effect. I'm just trying to go for a two-dimensional look so it's not just, bam, orange, ambery color. Um, so I take it on my Sigma. I have a mini Sigma E25 blending brush. So I just take it on there, um, pat it off, and then just do this. You're going to have to do it a couple times. Um, because sometimes certain shadows don't work that well together as far as um, blending on top of each other. But you can already see it adds a little bit of dimension. And then I just go on my crease and go on my actual lid, I go about halfway and then I bring it up to the crease and blend it all the way through. And then another trick that I learned from Pixie Woo is take whatever bronzer you used, so I'm taking Hula, and put it on the same brush, tap it off. And then just put that into your crease, and that like really warms up the skin, and it just kind of ties everything together. Especially for someone like me who's pale, up here is like really pale, so it kind of just warms up the skin. You can see the difference between this one and this one um, a little bit, not so much on this camera. But in real life, it really like warms up the skin and um, ties the whole face. Okay, up. next I do eyeliner. Um, I like to use brown eyeliner on an everyday basis. I don't usually use black eyeliner unless I'm wearing like a smoky eye or if I'm wearing my glasses, which I have a whole different routine for when I wear my glasses. Um, so this is Max Eye Pencil in coffee. And I just kind of put this on my upper lash line. I don't go all the way over, I stop about where my lashes stop, and then I just run over my finger with it to smudge it out a little bit. I take um, a mascara. I've been using Bad Gal Lash, but I just recently started using um, the Stila Stay All Day uh, Waterproof. And I don't know if it's because this isn't a waterproof formula, but by the end of the day, this just feels like it hasn't been, like that it's gone and it's not on my eyelids anymore, whereas this still looks like how I applied it, like, eight hours later. Anyway, so I just curl my lashes. This is my e.l.f. one dollar eyelash curler. It works Then I just take well. the mascara. There's a huge clump at the end of that. And then I just put at the base and wiggle and close my eyes and roll the wand all at the same time. So I put at the base, wiggle, roll, and close my eye. And that just gives you really like thick lashes and it works really well. Or this particular look today, I'm just going to wear um, Nyx's T-Rose lip gloss.
that is my everyday look so far. Um, I might add a little bit more blush um, after I'm done with this. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, um, it's just a really simple look. Um, it took me like 10 minutes maybe. Um, and that's only because I spent so much time on my under eyes and everything else. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, hopefully I will have my SD card soon. And hopefully for Christmas I will get a camera that records in HD because my camera takes pictures in HD but it does not record video in HD. So um, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, happy Hanukkah to my Jewish viewers. Yeah, Hanukkah. I love Hanukkah. Um, and anybody that's in college, happy finals week. Yay. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.